Hello and welcome to Tata Storytime. My name's Adjwa and today we are going to be reading Sing to the Moon by Nansubaga Nagadia Isdal and Sandra Van Dorn. So let's begin. If I had one wish, I would reach the stars, then ride a supernova straight to Mars. Jaja tells me, sing to the moon, and perhaps my wish will be granted soon. With another wish, I would still go far, across the ocean to Zanzibar. I would sail on a dhow and gaze in wonder at old spice markets till the sun goes under. If I had more wishes, I would surely fly. I would take the crested crane up high. After spotting the forest's mythical beast, I would land at dusk for a monstrous feast. Instead, I awake to the patter of rain and watch the clouds spread like a charcoal stain. I think of the hours with nothing to do except count the drops as they muddle the view. But then, I hear steps on the kitchen floor. So slowly, I open the wooden door. Jaja is drinking his hot morning tea and tells me that he has been waiting for me. As we eat porridge, I glare at the gloom, announcing that I'm going back to my room. Jaja stands tall and in one, two, three, holds out his hand and says, Let's go and see. We start in the storeroom to pack away peas picked when the fields were last humming with bees. Jaja remembers his childhood best friend, a boy called Chirabo, whose smile did not end. We clear the veranda of wet bamboo leaves while Jaja recalls climbing up guava trees. I say I love climbing guava trees too, and he tells me, that's something he never knew. The sun slowly sets and the day splits in two. I help clean tilapia for the fish stew. Jaja shares memories of trips as a child when he and his father would fish in the wild. With daylight now gone and the dark settled in, Jaja says our night adventures begin. He slowly unveils his tall tower of books where he has stacked stories of bold kings and crooks. By light of a candle, we turn over pages of long-ago fables passed down through the ages, tales of lost cities and great heaps of gold, African kingdoms and sights to behold. And then... Jaja leaps to his feet to retell the story of how the sky rose and then fell. He thrills me with thunderous bangs and kabooms, then shoes me outside where the brilliant night croons. We hear fires dance and the echo of drums, friends making meals and the grasshoppers hum. And Jaja reminds me that I'm always loved by even the brightest of stars up above. With one last glance at the shining night sky, we bid the sweet sounds of the evening goodbye. I know then that even new worlds far away couldn't compare to this one rainy day. And with a tired yawn, I stumble to bed where I am tucked in with a kiss to the head. And like every night before leaving the room, Jaja says quietly, Sing to the moon. 
And that is the end of our story, Sing to the Moon. And I hope I see you soon at Tata Storytime. And until then, bye-bye. Mama used to say... If you enjoyed that story, hit subscribe, like, and share with all your friends. See you soon. It's time for Tata Storytime.